This is Artifacts of Mars, and you're not going to believe this one. At Harvard in Cambridge, Massachusetts, students were caught on tape saying that whites should kill themselves due to white privilege. This is not a joke. This did not come from the onion. Sorry about that. Computer's screwing up. I get too many windows open and it just starts going bonkers on me. Uh, Miguel Feliciano, along with fellow West Georgia student Damir Davis, reportedly participated in a recent debate with other students at Harvard University. During an exchange with their opponents, Feliciano suggested that white people should kill themselves because of their white privilege. He's insane. The exchange was caught on video and posted on YouTube. I guess it was an anti-Trump thing on top of that. During this. I'm sorry, uh, my comp is froze solid on this page. So, scrolling down may not be an o option here. I watched the video. It's available on YouTube, Harvard student, Harvard caught an anti-Trump death the whites cover up. Now, who was it who's been warning that these uh, colleges, especially Port... Portland Community College is one where I said they were advocating genocide. That would be I. No, it's real solid. It won't do nothing. You know, and right here you go. These college kids are openly advocating genocide against white race. Look like a Mexican or something. He's, he's probably American. He's definitely Hispanic. So these deluded nutcase wackos are basically saying that screw your whites, you gotta die because you're white privilege. Same thing that happened in Germany with the Jews. There's no difference. I'm trying to hammer this home to wake people up. I don't know if anybody's listening out there. These imbeciles are dangerous. There we go. It's finally moving some. Well, I got through this struggle all the time. White life is wrong, Felicia Oano was quoted as saying by Infowars.com. Our argument is that we should never affirm... White life. White life is based on black subjugation. He's insane. That is incredible bullshit. When the wife, white debater suggests that it might be a better to remain alive and fight the social forces that promote white privilege, Feliciano rejects his, the notion. Struggling against culture means putting yourself on line, putting your body on the line, do it. Affirmative suicide, that's cool. It's one step in the right direction. So according to this... Mi I have no words. He's a maniac. Maniac is good as anything. According to this maniac... We, the white race, is supposed to commit suicide, and that way it'll be all fair for him. I'm not... I'm not even going to continue. This idiot should be expelled from school, as far as I'm concerned. He's useless. No, uh, yeah, we'll continue. Look at this. Black debaters simply chose to point out their opponent's skin color and begin advocating genocide. Reported 
Investment weight. Investment watchdog blog dot com. They expressly say that these were their sincere beliefs, not an argument to win a date debate. So, Feliciano and Davis are not some anonymous student crackpots posing as serious debaters. They form a respected two-person debate team that took second place 2013 cross-examination debate association nationals according to Infowars.com. Feliciano also acts as an instructor at the Eddie Conway Liberation Institute an annual debate camp at Compton State University that reportedly instructs high school students on debate strategy and radical thought, InfoWars reported. The institute is named after a former Black Panther, Panther Party member Eddie Conway, who was convicted and imprisoned for 44 years for his involvement with the 1970 murder of Baltimore police cop. Officer, is this unbelievable or what? It's as I have predicted. I said they're pushing for uh, genocide. These colleges are pushing for gen genocide against the white race. I pointed that out with Portland Community College, Community College, and it's running to these other schools. They want to kill us. Folks, if you people of color think you're safe, you're sadly mistaken. I mean, it's right here in black and white. People have said I'm nuts for being paranoid. Well, gee, uh, I gotta be a little paranoid at this point. They're talking about killing us. What am I supposed to do? Just blow this off? These are deranged maniacs. You know, you have a picture of them. These are deranged, deranged, insane maniacs who should be locked up in mental hospitals for the rest of their lives. Or at least until they get their heads straightened out. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.